Hello and welcome to another Maxi Shine video. Today we're going to be looking at the world's most powerful laptop, the Dell XPS 1730. We're looking at nearly um, five or six kilos, I'd say. That's what it feels like. A lot harder to move around than this. This is really, this is a laptop. I wouldn't call that a laptop because you can actually sit this in your lap. All right. We'll go through some of the features of this thing. We'll just open it up. All right, first of all, you have a 17 inch, 1920 by 1200 resolution uh, LCD, which is very high res, probably the highest res you could get on a laptop. You have the, um, just over here, you have the G15 LCD, exactly what you have on the G15 here. You can pretty much customize it how you want and go through you know, you can show frames a second or your temperature settings and all that through the use of LCD Studio, which you can download on my website, by the way. Um, we'll go ahead and power this up. And uh, straight away, you can see a lot of fancy lights there. The keypad here lights up. The buttons here light up. Um, lots of things. We'll just turn it around. You can see even the back. Really nice looking laptop. So we've got Windows XP running now. Um, we'll go ahead and install a few games. You can see there the XPS logos come up on that little LCD screen. And it comes in a nice graphite finish. You can, I'm not sure if you can see that, the finish on that. Even though it is big, it, does, it feels like it will do the job of an average gamer's desktop. Pretty awesome. Um, some of the other features, these come with dual 500 gig hard drive, so yes, we're talking about a, a one terabyte laptop. Um, we also have uh, four gig of memory in this. And let's just go to the NVIDIA control panel. I'm not sure if you can see here. You can see the performance monitor there, just as you would have on the G15 there, showing CPU and memory usage. You can just scroll through that by clicking on that. You gotta admit, that's pretty awesome for a laptop. Now, SLI configuration, that's right. This laptop has SLI. Okay, just looking there, as you can see, two 8700 GTs running in SLI. There is a, another option you can, you can get two 8800 GTXs. You do have a USB at the back, you have your Ethernet port there. And that's pretty much it for the back of it, nice and clean. Now down the side, you have your DVI out there for connecting an external monitor. Um, you're going through your uh, S-Video out, another USB, your 1394 Firewire, card reader, DVD-ROM, and then you have your um, audio headphones and mic and all that. Now looking at the right side of it, you can see there's two more USBs, um, your um, network, your wireless network on and off there, and that's your Bluetooth little button there to receive Bluetooth stuff. And then you have your uh, expansion slot there for whatever you want. What else is missing from it? Now along the front here, you can see uh, some of the lighting there, a lot of ventilation due to the huge amounts of heat this produces. You have your media controls there, play, stop, forward. The screen itself there, you can see it comes with a webcam. Just um, about to hook it up to power because <laughs> the battery life is probably only about an hour, an hour and a half on this. That's uh, not if you're doing anything intense like gaming or anything. Look at, look at that. Look at that plug. That is absolutely huge. That's the power adapter there. Just have a look at the transformer. That is the size of a medium brick. Look at that. Due to the huge amounts of power this thing needs. That's quite big. Screen resolution is unbelievable. I mean, you, you can grab a calculator and work out the dots per inch, but I'm pretty sure it's, it'll be up there with the 30 inch uh, resolution. 
1920 by 1200 on a 17 inch screen. The text, beautiful, just stunning to look at. The, everything nice, all the um, edges and all that. I've updated to the latest drivers because the drivers that did get shipped with it were from the days of the dinosaurs. I mean, they were 156 series or something like that. So I've gone ahead and up, updated them. Quite an impressive display. Very impressive speaker quality, very loud. I'm not sure if you can pick it up with the um, microphone. But I'm, hav I'm having to actually speak a lot louder than I normally do just to talk over it. The uh, G15 LCD display there, also showing the EVGA information on that, which is, I love that. That's awesome. We'll go ahead and start the mission. All right, right from the start, we'll just grab a gun. Right from the start, 46 frames a second. Sitting on 42 at the moment. I'm just using the keypad. Oh, not bad for a keypad. 38 frames a second still. Oh, headshot, look at that. Grenades going off here. Still 35 frames a second. Very intense. Like seeing all the all the things that are happening on screen. Just throwing a grenade there. And blew his face off. 66 degrees, 32 frames a second still. Just go to graphics there. Set that to 1920, 1200. Hit apply, and we'll probably have to restart the game to get to get that resolution happening. Um, pretty good, keeping under 70 degrees. Again, like I said, it's a laptop, so <clears throat> we'll run that quickly. Uh, resume game. We'll try to resume from the same spot. Yeah, we're getting 30 to 40 frames a second. I've upped the res to 1200. We'll see how we go. Take out that FG. Again, like I said. 27 frames a second. Oh, look at that, man. That's what you call it. That's class, mate. Still getting up to 47 frames just there. Sitting on 29. Keep it up. hit the beach just up ahead. Let's move. 19, 20, 1200, all settings to the max. 30 frames a second. Checkpoint reach. We'll just, uh, I'll just zoom into the EVGA part. You can see there, I've just stopped for a second just to give you an idea. 72 degrees, pretty hot, but still very good for a laptop. Um, 33 frames a second, 19, 20, 1200, all settings to the max. Um, so far, I'm very happy with the dual 8700 GTs. 8800 GTXs will be awesome, but for $1,000 more, I mean, you're looking at spending $4,000 Australian for a system with two 8800 GTXs. I feel like you can do a lot better building your own system, even if it is for LAN parties. You can build a little mini PC, micro ATX. Um, but I think the 8700 GT value for money, not bad. $2,900 at Officeworks. I saw it today. Um, that's actually cheaper than the Dell website. We were able to play Call of Duty 5. I doubt we're going to play Crisis. I'm not even going to try that. We are running Vista still. Um, sorry, we are running XP, so I didn't think it was worth it. Seeing we're only running DirectX 9. Um, quick mention, this is running uh, dual 2.5 gigahertz with the option for dual 2.8. Everything's overclockable here, so it's pretty good. Um, so far, heat-wise, I can't really feel much heat emanating from it. Not much different to the Sony here sitting next to it. So um, it is pretty ventilated here, so it's okay. Yeah, so far I'd give this 10 out of 10 for a LAN computer, not as a laptop. As a laptop, I'd give it 0 out of 10 due to its size and weight.